Ecoforestry manages human behaviors in such a way that ecological integrity in a forest setting is maintained intact over time and through space. The key there is we manage human behaviors. The forest can manage itself. So what we're looking at here is what Merv was really managing for at, at Wildwood, and that's these beautiful, gorgeous, old-growth dug fir trees, and lots of them, not just one or two sprinkled here and there, but entire stands like we're looking at uh, right now of uh, old-growth dug fir, probably four to 500 years old. And you not only have these old-growth dug firs, but you have a functional ecosystem working top to bottom which basically is what Merv intuitively thought should be happening, and that's what he managed for. Merv uh, basically began to realize that this was an interconnected system, that it was really important to preserve all parts of that system. But Merv is also very, very clear that you needed to harvest a forest. That, that, that was an important part of what he did, that human beings were actually a part of this ecosystem so that human beings actually had to bring something out of it. And he had a, a, a kind of a prescribed way of doing that. Um, he said, basically, you need to leave this forest intact and focus on how much grows every year and that you never took more than the annual growth rate, that you actually cut back and took less than. That way you preserved everything that was here fairly well intact. Basically, when he's coming into an area like this, he's starting off with looking at what he wants to leave behind and what he's leaving behind are the biggest and best, the ones that'll keep this ecosystem intact. So he's leaving behind the big firs, maybe a scattering of cedars. Uh, and what he's looking for are trees that are beginning to uh, show signs of dying off. And he'd be looking at harvesting those trees first. And he'd be doing that because that's how the natural system works. That's how nature is harvesting trees and putting them and dropping them onto the forest floor. So this is Loberia, I think it's Oregana, but this is a lichen. And one of the stories we like to tell the kids is that this lichen is actually a combination of two organisms. It's an algae and a fungi working together. A huge little important part of the ecosystem that is capturing nitrogen nutrients, putting them into either the soil or then becoming food, winter food for, for deer and for elk here on the coast. What we're managing for is what we leave behind in this forest, and that's intact ecosystems that are continuing to produce what we call ecosystem services. That's what's most important for us. And uh, that's very, very different than what you find in other forest management systems today. We live in the real world. As EIS, we own this property. Uh, we had to incur a $450,000 mortgage to acquire it. So we do selective tree harvesting here at Wildwood, and we do that within the parameters of ecoforestry. So here we have this beautiful old growth dug fir tree that's got incredibly good wood in it. Um, this is an option for harvest and milling. This tree itself, I would say, is probably worth uh, five to uh, eight thousand dollars once we get the milling done on it. In addition to the lumber that we produce, we developed other avenues of revenue. Well, we're in the uh, old homestead that was owned by Merv Wilkinson, which we've restored uh, over the last 14 months. And this is now being used as an Airbnb rental home for conservation tourism in hope to help us pay down the mortgage. We are developing educational programming for a multitude and the diversity of audiences, from school children, from kindergarten kids who love to come and learn about the forest, to seasoned professionals who are really interested in the technical methods and practices that we've developed. What Merv left behind was an idea. And the idea was that you could actually manage your forest in a different way so that you had what you see around you, which is a pretty intact forest that people can come into, they can actually feel good about what they see here, and they can actually have some confidence that this force is gonna provide what it is they're gonna need both now and in the future. <laughs>